welcome back to my studio. Today, well, I'm still not over my cold yet, so thanks for playing along. <laughs> Almost over it though, so if I cough or wheeze or anything during this, I'm okay. But what I'm going to do today is, this is a little scrap piece of wood that somebody actually left in the Home Depot parking lot. It didn't have the sides on it, but this piece was there, and I thought, Psh, I can make a canvas out of that. I like the size. It's 24 by 12, so 2 feet by 1 foot, and I'm going to hang it this way. Well, if it turns out the way I want it. So what I'm going to do today is a double dirty pour. You've seen me do those before. But what I'm going to do is a swipe pour back and forth like this, starting in the middle with one and moving out, starting in the middle with the other and moving out. So we've got the starting colors the same and then growing out. That's the plan anyway. But here's the big deal about today's pour. Dimethicone. It's my first time using dimethicone. And there's different kinds of this. This just happened to be really cheap. And I saw it on Amazon, and I'll put the link below if you want to try it too. I've heard that there's a Dimethicone 1000, and I think that's what Anne-Marie Ritterhoff uses. Um, this one that I found is a 500. I don't know what the difference is, but we're going to try Dimethicone today instead of silicone. Everything you see today is in Floetrol. Um, this is a kind of a royal blue, but it's a metallic. And before I pour this, I'm just going to loosely uh, pour in a little bit of turquoise uh, acrylic ink into this one, just to give it... Uh, multi-tone look. This is a really nice chocolatey warm brown and I'm going to do the same thing with it with some acrylic inks in the transparent raw umber, my favorite, one of my favorite colors, to maybe get some warm streaks in it, some sienna orangey streaks in it. That's what I'm hoping for. We've got black, we've got, I had a minty light green from a recent pour that I did and I just added some more turquoise to it. I'm playing with the idea of adding just a little bit of this loosely into it as well. I just don't want to overdo it with the blue, so maybe, maybe not. And then we've got white. So you pretty much got it. This is going to be an easy one. I'm going to start out, I'm going to probably, this looks thick. See the bubbles in it? It looks pretty thick. So I'm going to do, I've got a squirter bottle, and I'm going to do probably two, two drops of each in, it, two drops of in each color, just to see, oops, just to see how it plays out. And then we'll go from there, because it's all an experiment. So I'm going to get these all ready. And then I'll get my cups out and we can get uh, the two dirty pours set up and we'll get going. Love that color. All right, I can't find my dropper, so this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> the consistency reminds me of syrup. It might be more than I wanted to put in, but there you go. Not stirring it in crazy, but you can see when you mix it that it's thick. It's already making little designs on this. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to like this dimethicone. I just want to get it integrated. I don't want to blend it, if that makes sense, which it's hard to blend anyway because it's an oil, but... Oh, there goes my nose. Sorry about the sniffling. Oh, I think this brown's going to be kind of cool. Oh, and the blue. Holy crap. This turquoise is turning some of these blue areas into green. It's kind of neat. God, I hope this plays. All right. Oh, 
I didn't thin these either, so we'll see what happens with that. I like to put a little water in mine normally. This might be too thick. We'll find out. It might end up being a swipe. That would suck, though. I mean, swipes are cool, but... I want a lot of the blue. There's some neat stuff happening in the cup. I think we're there. I hope this is enough. I never measure. If you watched any of my videos, you already got that. I just eyeball the measurements, so I just want to know that that's enough for that side, which I think eyeballing it I am, but I'm going to put a little more blue in it just in case. I don't have a lot left anyway. black in this, but if it layers in color the way I want it to, it'll be worth it. And a lot of white left just in case. I always make more white than I need because I always end up needing it. Alrighty. Alright, pouring gods, here we go. Oh wait, you know what? I just realized I poured them in backwards, so I'm going to have to go from end to middle. Ah! Okay, we can do that. Please let there be enough paint to do this. This is awesome. Holy crap. This is cool. I need more paint though. Just a tad. I want to go a little bit lighter in the center and I want a little bit more brown I think. 
I don't think I have any more brown, but let's try it. Check for bubbles. I can already tell this is too thick, and I don't know how it's going to turn on the sides, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, just need to get my sides done. We do have some peakies, especially on the corners, so I'll get the hands marked off and we'll get that. Wow, looks like I got everything. I'm liking it. It's not my normal style, but I'm digging it. I, there's a part of me, though, that wants to swipe this really bad. <laughs> I wonder if I should. If I do, I don't want anybody yelling at me and saying, no, no, no. I'm going to give it a minute to see how it blooms, and then I'm going to decide if I want to swipe it or not. I just think these colors would be awesome swiped is the reason. See the dimethicone laying on top. It's just a little busy for my taste. I'm gonna swipe it. What the hell? If I mess it up, I can do it again. And then mess it up again. Where's my scraper? There it is. Here we go. I'm either gonna make it brilliant or I'm gonna ruin it. digging this a lot. Wow. Okay, but I don't like this scraper because it's not even, so let me find something else. Oh, dimethicone was made for swiping, I can tell. Is this a enough piece? No. I guess I don't have a choice. Oh, I'm digging that.
stir stick just does a better job. Swipe's working on the sides too. This is cool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, this is my new thing for swiping. Dimethicone is brilliant for swiping. Freaking love this. Wow. Except now I wish I had done it from the center because I'm not liking this piece that I thought I would like in the beginning. And I love this. Is it worth another try, you think? I think we should do it. Again, this will either ruin it or it will make it brilliant. But we made the right decision before, so let's do it again. I'm going to pull it all down this time. Okay. Okay, that's it. Time for torching. Oh, that webbing is just absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to show it to you. There is an area that's bugging me. to see it over here. Look at that! Isn't that crazy? If you've used a methicone, then you probably already know, but wow! For me, that just blows silicone right out of the water. And that's the Dimethicone 500, again, that, that I'm using. And I'll put that down in the description box so that there's a link to it if you want to try it. I'm frugal, so you know it's, I'm not going to list something that's really expensive. Even the centerpiece, I, I dig the swipe from the middle. I've never done that before. So standing this up when it's dry could be very cool. How crazy is that? Some neat blues coming out right there. It's still moving. It's still doing things, so. Hoorah! Some neat stuff in the center. Even where the white is. Oh yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Look at that. Yep, I'm happy with this pour, so stick around and we'll see what it looks like when it's all dry.